Let's add another one here. Let's do x squared plus 2x squared plus 4, parentheses, plus 3x squared minus x plus 5, parentheses. We're going to do this two ways. We'll start, this time let's start with the vertical. <clears throat> let's write our, um, this was an x cubed, pardon me, an x cubed. Let's write our equations out, or each of these terms out, in uh, descending order from the uh, variable with the highest exponent first, followed by the next highest exponent, so we have a plus 2x. We don't have any x term in this one, so we'll put a 0. We can put a 0x if you like, it doesn't matter. And then we have our number plus 4. So we've rewritten this grouping like this. And we're going to add this to it. So we have a 0. We don't have any x cubed in this group. We have a plus 3x squared. We have a minus x and a plus 5. So now we can just add the individual columns. They're like terms. We call them like terms. They have the same variable raised to the same power. So here is 4 and 5. That's 9. Here is 0 minus 0x zero minus x is a minus x. This is a plus 9. We have a 2x squared plus 3x squared. That's 5x squared. And we have an x cubed, and 0 is x cubed. So when we add these vertically, that's our answer. Now let's add them horizontally. We have an x cubed plus 2x squared plus 4 plus 3x squared minus x plus 5 parentheses. Here's, here's a little rule or an algebra here. If you have groupings like this and a plus sign here, what if there's no outside number outside of this, this parentheses, you can assume a 1 here. And what this is telling us is <coughs> we want to multiply this group by a positive 1. Well, when we multiply to get rid of the, uh, the parentheses, we can multiply the group here by this positive 1. Well, if we multiply any number by a positive no 1, we get that number. So we can just remove the parentheses. The same is true here. There's no sign or anything out here. Well, this is like a positive 1 out there. So we can remove this parentheses and move, remove this parentheses because we're just multiplying each by a positive 1. So this would be x cubed plus 2x squared plus 4 plus 3x squared minus x plus 5. Now we're going to group like terms. So we only have one x cubed, so we'll put it first. The x squares go second, so we have a 2x squared, and we have this 3x squared. We don't have an x term here, but we have a minus x here. And then our whole numbers, we have 4 and 5. Now we can combine like terms. There's only one x cubed, so there's only one of that kind of term. But we have a 2x squared plus a 3x squared. This is a squared. Might get a little sloppy sometimes. So 2 and 3 is 5. That's 5 x squared minus the single x plus 5 and 4 is 9. So this is our answer when we, when we multiply or when we add it horizontally. Notice it's the same as the answer we got when we added vertically. And that's the end of the first lesson.